Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, coming at you with another video. Now today I'm adding on to the PS4 Remote Play series, where I tell you how you can record or stream your PS4 without a capture card um, with the best possible quality. Now, currently there is a huge update to Remote Play that will do something that you guys have been waiting for for a long time. Now, in Remote Play, let me just bring up the new version. As you can see, the new Remote Play site or update includes during Remote Play, you can now use the microphone connected to your Windows, PC, or Mac in chat, uh, like chat games or in parties. And stability has improved. So go out there and download the latest version for whatever you have. Um, this tutorial, I think, only works on Windows because of OBS, um, but I may be wrong. Now, Obviously, but just like before, just look up. It's really simple. Once you download it, open the app and then log in with your um, ID for uh, PlayStation. And then after it uh, signs in, you'll be connected to your PS4. But first off, before that, you do need to go to um, settings, and then you have to go to remote play connection settings, enable remote play. And or if you don't want to connect through your network and you just want to direct connect, hit add device and type in the code on your app. But that setup is pretty simple. So now once you set that up, obviously this whole time you need your um, PlayStation controller uh, plugged in to your PC. Um, just look up, um, just follow the uh, like directions when you open the app. I'm not going to show you that because it's really simple to connect to this stage. Now, what you guys have been wanting is obviously to know whether you can use your microphone or not for parties. Um, so let me just quick go here, create a party. Um, we'll make this party private. Now I will be showing you that you can indeed use your microphone. So as you can see, there's no microphone connected right now. And if I go down to this tab where it shows microphone and I connect my microphone, as you can see currently, on here it's not showing up right now just because I'm using OBS to capture my mic too but it does detect the mic and if you weren't recording with OBS um, or actually you just have to have a different mic for your streaming than you're using for your parties um, but other than that um, don't worry about that but now that I disconnect it the mic will disconnect but now to the next part of actually streaming your PS4 now we have this screen up currently where it shows the actual PS4 you're gonna to wanna to open OBS um, this is point version point sixteen point six um, and what you're gonna do is create a new scene which you just hit plus scene we're gonna delete scene two yes now for this scene now we're gonna to go to sources now you're gonna add and then you're gonna do um, game capture or actually let's do window capture sorry about that so once we do windows capture it shows this weird kind of I don't know screwed up thing now you're gonna find the remote play actual application which happens to be this one right here PS4 remote play you're gonna hit OK so once this actually shows up you're gonna wanna right click it and you're going to transform and fit to screen. Um, if you want, you can actually even drag the sides so that it fully uh, fits the screen here. May cut off a little bit, but it'll look overall better. Now, you want to add your overlay. What you can do to add an overlay is hit plus down here, add image, image, OK browse and then we're gonna actually find um, let me just find it my overlay so as you see this is my overlay here and we're gonna hit OK so now if the image is um, actually if the image is down here and it doesn't show you wanna actually click on the image and press up because it has to be above the layer so say on top of this you wanna use your face cam you're gonna hit plus you're gonna hit video capture device OK and Logitech or whatever whatever uh, device you have plugged in right here and you're gonna hit OK 
So now you can see me. I'm just going to make this smaller um, just so it kind of fits in the corner there. And uh, we can do this kind of, and you change it so it's not a square, so it's a different shape if you want. But as you can see, we do have a capture card like experience, um, and it shows this. So what you can do is you can just hit start streaming or start recording once you set it up to your you know encoding URL or whatever you have to do to stream and then or hit start recording and then what you want to do is switch to the actual um, input on your monitor or your TV or whatever you're doing say you play on a TV then just look at the TV or if you're on a monitor switch to the input that your PS4 is actually on so when you're playing you won't see the lag um, like there's actually like it's no like bad display lag but like when you're actually playing it gets annoying but your viewers won't be able to tell uh, or the people you're recording to because it won't be laggy on their screen it's it's more of just a delay which is kind of annoying but the delay doesn't really matter for recording or streaming so and your controller is not delayed uh, when it's hooked up to the PC you just leave it hooked up to the PC and then switch um, to your actual uh, monitor or display that has the uh, PS4 actually connected to it then you can play the game or stream the game lag free so in the background your PC is streaming it and you're seeing it real time so it makes it very easy way to stream and as you can see this is basically the same quality as if you were to use a PS4 remote play a streaming feature but the difference is is you can add overlays uh, face cams you can add um, little things for uh, you know twitch or live streaming you can add almost anything with OBS I just showed you the basic setup as you can see down there by sources here um, I only added a webcam an overlay and the actual display but you can do so much more with this if you actually put it kinda of to the test But anyway guys thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know down below But I did want to let you guys know about the whole new um, microphone feature so uh, basically just a little quick info before I leave on this feature is you're going to need one microphone for recording and then you're going to want to plug your other microphone into your PC. So say you have a USB mic like I do, I have a Blue Yeti. Um, I plug that in for the actual audio of my stream and then you're going to plug your regular headset, uh, the mic part, into your PC and mic so you'll hear it um, and you'll be able to talk with that mic and you just select that there. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll see you next video, guys. Peace out.